Welcome. Welcome to day three. It's Sea Squirt Day. And we're going to watch another minute of these beautiful sea squirts in the ocean. We're back to the ocean today. We're here watching their little mouths open and close. Just enjoy that. Feel your breath, find your body, find your mouth, find Let's give it another moment. We're in the ocean. We are entering into a sea squirt life. And the sea squirt has either one mouth or one mouth and one anus. So here we are seeing, seeing these mouths, seeing these beautiful colors, seeing the ocean. Breathe, arrive in your body. See the little mouse. I think we'll wait one more moment with the video. I think there's a, a cute mouth opening coming. Here we go. <sighs> Let your anus come alive. Let it move. Let your mouth and the muscles around your mouth and your anus come alive. We're entering into sea squirts today. All right, thank you. So this is Christine and I'm starting day three with a big thank you. I wanna thank you say thank yous to my families that I've lived with in this time of COVID, the Hammerschlags and the Nine Mountain family. I wanna thank my great teacher, Bonnie Bainbridge Cohen, who I've been studying with for over 35 years. I wanna thank all my Russian students who are stuck mid to your training who are still engaged doing somatics. Give me so much joy, you're on the path. And my American group who stuck just before graduation, the last little bit, you're beautiful. I can't wait to see you and graduate you. And I want you all to just flow into any, any thanks any gratitude, but also into any angriness, any dullness, any just where you're at. Just let that flow for a moment. Let your anus open and close. Let your mouth open and close. Let yourself be fed by the ocean. Sea squirts, sea squirts anchor themselves. They anchor themselves on a rock, in the sand, 
on a barnacle, on any surface they happen to find, and then they stay there and they live there for their life. And unlike the sponge, they have many more organs to take in the nutrients. They actually have digestive tract. They actually have something like blood. And they have these beautiful, as you saw, these round muscles. Maybe give them to your pores. Maybe give them to all your other organs where we have these smooth round muscles in your digestion. Feel that, feel that. rhythm of your own digestion, your own mouth, your own anus, and any other organs. All organs have some kind of muscle tissue and contribute their own rhythm to your organism. So just start getting into the multi-rhythms in your body. Your thankfulness, your aliveness, your feistiness, your willingness to be here. <sighs> Find the, the impulse so that in your anus, in your mouth, in any organ, in any pore, in any limb, any muscle, there can be a, an impulse, a beginning of a wave of movement that opens and closes. And Today, I'm just gonna put on a really sweet, another video for you to get deeper into it. We'll have the second short video with, of course, jazz, jazzy sea squirt. I'm not hearing the jazz. Just close your eyes or keep them open and keep moving. We can um, close that video and just keep moving. Close your eyes and found that puckered mouth feeling anywhere you want in your body. Find that squeeze, find the opening, find the closing. Ah, when do you want to wrinkle up and close your puckered mouth everywhere in your body? When do you not want to be visible, not want to be here? When do you want to be just in yourself, feel yourself, squeeze yourself? And when do you want to release that, get to know the ocean and maybe open up, open up to the fluids, let them through you, get to know your environment, 
get to know your neighbors. And just notice your own rhythm in it. Where, where would you prefer to be now? Do you have a rhythm of going in and out? It's just a short 20 minutes, so don't worry. But just, do you wanna just be open, 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 open and let the world through you? <sighs> just explore your body, your mind, your thoughts with an openness, not holding on. So the C square has two ways of reproducing. One is that it just re reproduces cells, little, little blobs near the same area it's situated on a rock. And it, it just grows little mini, mini me's around it. And the other way is through sexual reproduction. So they're hermaphrodites. They can choose to be male, female, um, today, tomorrow, differently. And they're actually, it's told they're quite active. Like they'll bunch up together, two, two, three, four, four of them, and just, just make out for days. So um, this is a cool, wild um, sea squirt activity. And um, you can change roles each time you have you mate, you sex, have sex. So this starts happening, and if you so the the at that moment the females would throw out the eggs, and the males would throw out this mist of sperm, and they would meet. And then for a very short amount of time when they meet, they become a very active little larva. And see if I can show it to you. It's, um, so I want you to all know that there's this period, I want you to maybe try it out. Maybe I can show it to you here. Uh, you become this larva. Let's see. With a tail, with a knot accord, with a brain, with a tail that moves you around. And here we go. I get this over. So here's the beautiful new baby sea squirt. And this is where we were at pre COVID, you people. Pre COVID, we were taking flights. I was in Europe. People would get flights for $20. They would be like, Okay, I'm going to London. I'm going to it's Italy. I'm going to Russia. I'm going to Spain for the weekend. So I want you to remember that time where you could just freaking walk out the door and go to the store. If you'd see someone, you could hug them. So in this sea squirt life, just remember, take, remind yourself of those days you could like get in your car and you could go visit your friend and you could have food and you could drink and laugh and hug and roll around if you're a contactor. I want you to do that for a minute. Remind yourself of the days where we had movement that was unplanned, un modulated it was like you're set free with your food and you get to go oh. 
Travels on your mind, in your butt, I want to say. Travels in your butt. You're like, so this is us. This is us being the sea squirt. Ah, oh, just another minute of that. Like, don't have to think of the mass. Don't have to think of what, who. Uh, yeah, shake out your leg. We'll just let your leg do what it wants. Let your heart shake. Let your butt shake. Let your arms, your breasts, your ears, your like go places, go places in the room, go places in your body. Woo! And you have, you have a nervous system, you have a spine, you have everything you need to do all that to be, to be alive in the world. But then you actually kind of, as a sea squirt, run out of nutrients. Like you're given a little pack and before that pack runs out, you find a new spot. And you're like, oh, okay. Okay, I'll be here. And you nestle into a new spot. And you no longer need, you no longer need your tail. And you no longer need that much brain because this is great for us somatic people as movers. We need a brain to refine our movement, to make it really beautiful and applicable and, and, and just so yummy for our life so that we can do so many things. But when we're, we then come back and we sit on a rock, we don't need movement. We just need the movement through us. So these nerves, get repurposed, just like the first day with sponges like you, or with blebs, you just, that's material that can be used for your new life. And you just allow those cells to be repurposed on this new rock with these beautiful colors that you might have and you might live in community with others again, as you grow your new colony. I like this one, for example. So beautiful, they're like glass. Oh, it's small, I don't know. So there's slideshows on the Facebook and in your emails. is an adult. So here we are back on a rock, spreading our beautiful colors, our mouths, our anuses, our community, building community. And I think that one of our problems right now, having to sit on rocks in COVID is we can't eat our own brain. We can't move around as we wish. We've lost some of that freedom. And some of you have been kept dancing and I admire you for that. It's I have kept swimming some, so I want to just encourage you to keep your moving body going. It's, our, it's really our only hope to keep alive, sane, happy, engaged, or angry and engaged. So today I give you C-squirt, many possibilities and different times in your life to be sessile, thoughtful, inner, build community, close around you, and other times to be those hermaphrodite, 
firm, traveling, new adventure seeking larva. So thank you for our third and middle day of online odd somatics. Really great to see you all moving. And before we go off, and I will join the group in Zoom. I'm gonna give you over to Amanda who will tell you just briefly how you can go to the Facebook page and easily find all the materials I'm putting up there that are clustered around sea squirts or blebs. Bye. Thanks, Christine. Oh. Oh, I went off live. Oh no, we're on, okay. So when you get into the group, you'll have a sidebar and each uh, day is nestled as a unit. So you can click unit, and you'll see welcome, first explorations, day two, and then today. And each day will populate in here. It's that easy. Bye, y'all.